and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Simic ramp to start the day off with today. We're having a rank up day. Um, as you can see, we're going to be playing all of our decks over in ranked. We're going to be playing four or five matches with each deck, depending on about how long it takes. And we'll, we'll play each deck for about an hour and a half to two hours or so. Um, but yeah, so we're going to start with Simic ramp. We're playing, we're playing kind of four different decks here and kind of decks that I, I picked out um, that I built today, spent some time thinking about some different strategies to play with um, the metagame right now being kind of dominated by fires and food decks. Uh, that's kind of what we're seeing, fires and food. And um, and so I wanted to try, try some different stuff uh, because of that and uh, made some different card choices really with those two decks in mind. Um, Okay, it should say it should say Abzan Doom there, Jamie. You may need to re refresh. Um, but anyway, uh, I I like Cavalier of Thorns in in this metagame, like against these Fires decks. I think it matches up pretty well against uh, the red and the blue Cavalier. You know, it, it can just block and trade, and of course it ramps you, and then it can trade, and then it can put something back on top. So that's a card that I that's just a, it's just a good value card and everything too. It's a card that I think is is pretty underplayed. And so I'm trying two different uh, Cavalier of Thorns decks here today. Um, you know, I'm playing the Simic Ramp and the Gruel Henge. Both of them um, going with four Cavalier of Thorn. Thanks, Jaroxel. Because uh, I just think this is just a really strong card that that uh, needs to see more play. And so I'm trying a couple different strategies with it. Um, but yeah, you know, we're playing kind of like the normal like Simic Ramp stuff. Um, you know, early mana creatures. I'm going to try a couple Growth Spirals instead of Paradise Druids. Because I don't want I don't want my deck to be too weak to Deafening Clarion. You know, the Jeskai decks are all playing for Deafening Clarion, so that's a pretty big sweeper right now. And so that's why I'm gonna go with a couple of growth spirals instead of Paradise Druids. Of course, going with Leafkin Druids because they pair up with Risen Reef. Uh, we also don't have to really worry about Leafkin Druid dying to Bone Crusher Giant. Um, so we got that. As you can see, we're playing playing Brontodons in the main deck because with fires and food, they're both um, artifact and enchantment uh, decks, or like they have decks that have artifacts and enchantments. And plus, Brontodon's just a good blocker. It fills our curve well here in the three mana slot. So we got some Brontodon's in here. A couple Wicked Wolves for aggro and some more in the board for aggro. Um, Questing Beast is just a, a good mid-range card. As well, they can, you know, block aggro creatures. They can also trade with Cavaliers. Um, so I really like Questing Beast, and so you know we'll have a bunch of Questing Beasts in the other Gruel Henge deck as well. Um, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know what to do. It should say Abzan Doom. I'll try. I tried just changing it again. It should say Abzan Doom. Um, you can see I'm only going three Nissa because of all like the Deafening Clarions everywhere. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly how great Nissa is, but we're, you know, we're going three instead of four. So I'm trim, trimming a Nissa to be able to kind of fit in some more three and four drops that you know play defense and offense and everything like that. Try to get more onto the board. So we're going three Nissa, three Krasis, um for our top end because of that. Mass Manipulation and Agent of Treacher are two really powerful cards, but they're not necessarily amazing in this format. Like basically against all the food decks. Um, they're not amazing against, and um, Jeskai Fires, they can definitely be good, but if the Jeskai Fires decks can also have just a whole lot of haste with their creatures and everything and, and kill you with their Cavaliers before um, you manipulate or Agent of Treachery them. So we're just going one of each of those at the top end. It got an extra mass manipulation in the sideboard. Against other aggro decks, where besides Wicked Wolves, we'll be bringing in Voracious Hydras and another Brontodon tried to uh, gum up the ground there. Um, and play a lot of defense and get to like our Nissa Crisis stuff at, uh, like that. But then against like uh, Fires decks, I think we're going to try like some counter spells. We got a couple Disdainful Stroke, a couple in the gate, and I think I want to uh, try bringing in a bunch of Frilled Mystics where we don't really need like the Wicked Wolves as much. Maybe, uh, maybe try some Frilled Mystics where we can kind of get ahead and uh, counter some spells. So that's the goal. This is um, out of the four decks. This is the one I'm I am the least confident in right now. I'm not sure. I kind of feel like maybe Risen Reef is too slow. I'm not I'm not too sure. I want to give it a try though. But we'll start off with this one and kind of basically kind of work our way up to the the decks I'm more confident in. I think the Abzan Do may be the best one that we played today. But we'll see. All right. So let's go ahead and 
play some traditional standard ranked on our rank up stream today. Do you know which days you won't be streaming for Thanksgiving? Um, I'm still tr trying to figure that out. I may actually not be streaming the whole weekend. I'm not sure. I may, I, I may be just taking Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. Honestly. I haven't really taken off many days at all, all year. But, you know, my friend uh, David Jones, as you all know him, boot to the head, who's always in uh, chat. Um, he invited me down to his house. It's about six hours away from me for for the weekend, for the Thanksgiving weekend. And so I think I may just, just go down there and then just take those days off. That would... Let's just get more forest, because Anissa. Um, you know, I, I don't really want to take three straight days off. <laughs> Cute little dragon. It would be a lot of days off. Um, is it better to lead with Nissa? I'm not gonna leave the Cavalier. Yeah, so that's what I was kind of thinking, is just taking some time off to recharge. But then, like, a problem with that is Saturday is supposed to be the sub-battle stream. I could also stream from from Boots' place. So I could maybe just do, like, a, maybe, like, you know, one, one or two of those days, maybe have, like, a, a shorter stream and just stream from there. But then the problem is I can't really do... I don't think I could really do, like, the YouTube recording and everything also. Unless... I guess maybe, you know, like, just don't play music, maybe, maybe we could do, I guess, yeah, if we don't have music, then we could do recording as well. Hey, Matu, doing good. If you take three days off, you'll return to a completely new format. <laughs> yeah, and it, it'll definitely hurt. You know, like, this is... I'm in a, a business where I don't... I don't make money unless I make content kind of thing. I don't make money whenever I take days off. So it definitely hurts taking three days off. I would like my Cavalier of Thorns to die. I feel like if I attack with Cavalier of Thorns, they'll just jump with a 1 1. The land fights for us. Hey, Tay. So, I don't know. I've, I've been struggling with exactly how to plan like this whole weekend and what to do and everything. I've, I've just been struggling with it. Kind of looks like casualties of war for how my opponent's targeting stuff. Obviously, this Reaper of the Night was just really devastating, and now this thing is too. 
Why would they? Why would they kill Gilded Goose over killing? Uh, over killing Risen Reef. Wonder. Oh, that's why. This thing got flying when it attacks if they have two or fewer cards in hand, then it gains flying. I only take cards if I go back to the shadows for now. The Golgari Queens are going to be their best card. If I take the Beanstalk Giant, they have a lot of chump blockers here, and they're going to draw just a ton of cards with sacrificing and, and everything. All right, so they're... All right, so we gotta we gotta deal with these lucky clovers, or maybe we just counter stuff. Yeah, let's just counter stuff. Yeah, I like it. So, you know, they, they probably have the Edgewall Innkeeper that I want to be able to kill with Wicked Wolf. Probably. I would expect as much. I'm going to get rid of these really big steel effects. Yeah. Hopefully they have Edgewall Innkeeper. Okay, so they have innkeeper. Two innkeepers. Ooh, that tap land's kind of bad. He 
crazy. I'd love to have another land just be able to play the Wicked Wolf next turn. This other wick Wicked Wolf. It's fine. Tell me. Good negate there. Not letting them ramp. Hmm. If they have the thing that makes me discard two cards, if I just play Wolf Land and they make me discard my two Cavaliers, that would be really rough. Um, or my Cavalier, my Disdainful Stroke, sorry. I could just lead with Cavalier here first. Nah, no, let's just go this route. It's possible I just hold this in hand. Sure. We'll just hold the land in hand in case. Yeah, negate on adventure card is so good. They're definitely relying, as we saw there, they're definitely relying on ramping. <clears throat> With the Beanstalk Giant. So I kind of want to play more Wicked Wolves. I guess they'd have to be in for Brontodon, but Brontodon destroys Lucky Clover. I mean, I, I could just not play Risen Reef, but I don't think that's the, I don't think that's the solution. Yeah, I mean, they scattered. They, they played it earlier and made me, last game, game one, they made me discard four cards because of Lucky Clover. And I, I had four cards in hand. They made me discard my whole hand. It was brutal. Yeah, they're definitely playing that card. <laughs> Dragon is nice. Being a brutal. So I'm playing 26 lands. We're playing a good amount of lands. No, I don't think there's any changing color for the dragon. Doesn't doesn't look like there's any anything anywhere to change color. Love to draw blue land here. That'd be ideal. Definitely should probably fetch before I scry. That would make sense, because if there was like a card I wanted to keep on top, we wouldn't be able to. Dark Claw! Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub.
let's see. No, I can't. I can't play Nessa and hold up for old domestic, can I? my patience basically hoping so when they didn't have that card for a turn brutal Yeah, I just should just sacrifice it, whatever. Yeah, yep. Yeah, Casualties of War is a pretty big card right now. Looks like my opponent's playing a lot of them. I was hoping I could sneak in the Nyssa for a turn, you know, and then have Frilled Mystic for the Casualties. You know, they had two cards in hand. That was the hope. Did not pay off. I take Nissa or Krasis? I'll take Krasis. Yeah, they played a couple of Lucky Clovers the first game. If I take Nissa, it's just too devastating if they have another Casualties of War.
They're, of course, they're not playing the, the murderous rider because they know that I'm going to kill it with the wicked wolf. At least that's what I thought. I thought that was the reason why they weren't playing it. Maybe they have... They could have Edgewall Innkeeper in hand now that they want me to play this. Hey, what's up, Firebug? Thank you so much. Wicked Wolf is not really that important of a card. But, you know, we basically get a three for one by countering it, because we, we get rid of their Noxious Grasp and their Murderous Rider, and I keep a Wicked Wolf. So, like, that's, that's pretty nice, I guess. Well, my opponent doesn't want... They're not sending the 1-1 one, because one, they, they don't want my Cavalier of Thorns to die. They Legion's ended away two Gilded Goose, so it's not super likely that we're drawing another Gilded Goose. Is there a sound bug going on right now that y'all can hear in the background? Because it... It sounds like it is on my end. Like, an animation is just still making noise. It's kind of like the... Like, the surveilled noise is, is continuing on or something. Like this noise right here. I don't know if it's supposed to be like the exile zone has a noise or something. Oh, that doesn't get rid of it. There, that got rid of it. It's back. That was their best creature? Okay, I guess they want the 1-1 one, one for the Love Struck Beast. Hey, Kanzan. All right, so if we have one, two, three, four. Wait. Three, four. Activate this thing. So that's six. One, two, three, four. Activate this thing. So that's 12, 13. So I could do 11. I guess I'll just do 10. I guess if I'm just doing 10... I shouldn't do that. So this is... 8, 9, 10. I mean, that'd be me tapping out. Okay, yeah, it makes sense to do this. So this gives... This lets me keep one mana... In case we draw Gilded Goose. Well, 
Or we have another an extra mana for Leafkin Druid now. Hey, three man. Um, yeah, I'll block. Are they going to be out of this card soon? That's their third casualties. attack. How many crises have I seen? One, two, three. Okay, so actually we've, we've actually drawn all the crises, or at least milled the other ones over with Cavaliers. That's two. There's two more Cavaliers. Why don't they just kill that first and then attack me for five? What's the what's the point of attacking that first? Oh, yeah, I guess they drew it off the Foulmire Knight. It's definitely a time that I, you know, getting to this point of the game, I wish I would have kept the mass manipulation in. But we didn't. I'm not sure I'm going to have enough firepower to finish this game off now. In fact, I know I'm not. Um, yeah, that is basically all of our lands. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, milling over, you know, we milled over two of these crises. Maybe even all three of them with Cavaliers. Stream deckers are showing the wrong deck. Do you sometimes have the feeling that flooding is an issue specifically on Arena? Not at all. Not at all. I don't know what was making that noise, but that was really bothering me that whole game. It's gone now. I, I hope that's not the Exile Zone. I hope the Exile Zone doesn't have a noise that's just going to happen like that every single game that there's anything in Exile. Because that's really, really distracting.
All right, let's try this again. I'm going to try to play Leaf Kindred after Risen Reef. They're playing four colors. It's likely Fires of Invention. It, it could just be... It could just be... Um, you know, like splashing black for like Kenrith's ab ability. Get another land out of the deck. All right, doing Risen Reef, doing ridiculous Risen Reef stuff. I'll play the goose here. I think it's pretty likely for a deafening clarion. Well, I guess, yeah, that's yeah, it's pretty likely. So obviously I could have, you know, like untapping the crisis, we could make it even larger, like untapping with Nessa, but it's not always the case. It always gets untapped with, with Nessa. So just going to cash in a, an 8-8 crisis, draw four here. Yeah, with this, this Lesnia Knights deck, um, I'm, I'm definitely planning on playing that deck tomorrow. That was one I had like five decks ready to go today. That was that was one of them. Um, so yeah, planning on playing that tomorrow. I I'd be worried about the Jeskai Fires matchup with that deck. That's the thing that I'm kind of worried about with with Selesnya Knights right now. Um, its ability to interact with those mythic five uh, five fives the or the five mana mythics and um, its weakness to Deafening Clarion. That's what I'm worried about with Selesnya Knights right now. So it says storm count five. Am I just like way far, really far behind? One, two, three. Wow, I am just really far behind. That's our fifth sub of the day. I have not been updating that. Uh, anyway, BG, EB, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Hmm, that's not it. All right. Sorry, back to the game. Uh, play you. Sorry, opponent. Rise, my elemental friend.
Yeah, that's a value train right there. That was a sweet turn. Sorry I'm late. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Okay. Now that hopefully Hopefully Arena's gonna speed back up. There could be a viable Cauldron of Eternity deck now with Oko out of the metagame. Um, potentially. Potentially. There, yeah, there's a lot of good things you can be doing with Cauldron of Eternity. Um, it's not an easy deck to figure out at all, but... Yeah, there could, there could be something there. That's unfortunate. Here goes nothing. I guess I could have auto tapped these things. Had a better crisis, but oh well. We are all connected. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Two, four, six, eight. So twelve, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen minus two is thirteen. Thirteen divided by two. Well, thirteen. Well, I don't have to divide by two. I just, I can just do thirteen, but. We're just going to keep it the even number. Do 12. It's like even if they have planar cleansing, we have so many lands and everything. Like this is this is what Risen Reef and Cavalier of Thorns can do. The Brontodons were just awesome. Main deck Brontodon, very good. Let's bring in a fourth Lebrontodon. And our counter magic. Do I take out Nyssa because of all these Clarions and everything? Is that is that a thing? It's probably not a thing. Do we take out... Maybe I take out Gilded Goose. Keep Grow Spiral. Hmm. Hmm. 
Maybe no mass manipulation? I don't know, I like all these cards. Just maybe no just maybe just no questing beast. <laughs> yeah. This is LeBron Tadon. Or you can call him Donald. Old thrashing Donald. You know, like if you wanna be if you wanna like be like his mother and scold him, he's in trouble. Donald. Hey, Marco. So this is kind of the problem with Fable Passage. I would like to play Leaf Can Druid and hold up Frilled Mystic, but we can't. It's not right now. We'll see if we can after this. Just to get meditate and prepare. Darn. See any new elementals in Theros? Keep an open mind. There could be. It's not going to be like, it wouldn't be like a theme, but there could just be a, a couple of creatures that are elementals. I can no longer stand by and watch. That's more like it. Uh, I should probably just fail the passage. Hmm. Sure. Of course, with this kind of deck, we do have to be kind of worried about milling out. I can't just play, like, infinite Cavaliers. So they're pretty obviously going to time wipe here. Or that thing. I want to grab the Agent of Treachery. We get Risen Reef, though. Yeah, DJ, it happens. Yeah, I've had a rough couple of days. It's okay. It's all good. Oh, I have, I have no idea what what rank would ho hold right now, this on this day below for top twelve hundred. I don't I don't even know.
I'm getting too old for this. I will protect the virtue of this world. the elements. I don't know, maybe I should grab this Agent Treachery instead of this other Risen Reef. I'll take this to Fairy. To turn on Frilled Mystic. Expecting more sweepers at any point, which no, is why I'm not... Having Nissa tick up on a land. My plans do not include you. Stop that now. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We'll just do ten. All right, that's that's good. Your grandma's feeling better, Matthew, but she hasn't seen a doctor yet, like at all. Like, didn't she go into the hospital yesterday? And still hasn't seen a doctor yet. Thought about discarding a Krasis, or even or the oh, Cavalier. Okay. Yeah, Frail Mystic's good. Um, my opponent having this to ferry though is not good. Yeah, if you get, yes, if I get Krasis back, it just returns as a 0 0. It doesn't have any counters on it at all. Do you want me to phase you out of time? So, Krasis is like the perfect card to Prison Realm. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not excited about there being a Teferi themed corset. I'm not excited about that. I don't really know anybody who is.
got a lot of mana. Already played a land. Bad idea. Mm, shouldn't, shouldn't have tapped that. Should have tapped the castle, not the temple. Then I could have double frilled mystic available. All right, we're one on one. We got a thunderous snapper card style. Ooh, we got a mythic. All right, so I guess I'm out of. All right, so I've collected all the mythics in the set. I think this is the first time I've gotten the 40 gems. I didn't know I had all the mythics in the set yet, so. All right, we got all the mythics in the set now. So now with packs, it's just always gems, unless it's a wild card. Hey, Mozar. So far, so good. Two games. Um, lost a close one. One, uh, I don't know, fairly close one. It was starting to starting to you know lose frames and everything there over the last over that last game so we've been playing the deck for an hour i'll go ahead and just reset and you know we'll play two more matches and you know play like another hour <laughs> yeah we won the magic I was gonna match him with the island, kind of throw him off of what deck, what kind of deck we're playing. But then we drew the goose. No real reason to wait, and there's a reason to cast it main phase. Could draw another goose. So do I think they'll have a counter spell for Cavalier of Thorns here? Hopefully not. Could have Quench. Hopefully not though. I think there's a lot better chance they have like Negate than Quench. Yay. <laughs> More gooses are gone. Might as well call this the Geese Yard. It's the new name. We'll just start with the Brontodon. They let it resolve. Then I'm not going to use the rest of the mana.
If they would have countered it, then I would have played the Questing Beast. Good, more mana. So that's fine. They get a two for one. But I get to resolve Cavalier. Um, can I resolve them both? I guess. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I guess I could resolve both of these. And... So yeah, even though they got they got that two for one, you know, then we get to resolve Nissa Cavalier of Thorns. That's obviously much more important for us. If I don't play Cavalier of Thorns, they they get to play Brazen Borrower, and have Brazen Borrower can pressure Nissa. If I do play it, you know they can counter, and I have nothing else to follow up. You know, preferably, we'd have, you know, we'd be able to play it. They counter it. I play something else also. Hey, Vox Mortis. Hello, hello. We'll go with the playing it, because, yeah, they do get to counter it, but they also do have to have the counter spell. It's possible they don't. It's not really meta deck day. I mean, we're, we're playing some different decks, but I don't know. I wouldn't really say the Simic Ramp is a meta deck right now. Like, how often do you see people playing Simic Ramp right now?
Yeah, I mean, do, do these do these sound like like meta decks over here? There's four good cards. No, the Dragon Pet doesn't change color. So they just had the three land the whole time. So we ended up getting that one. So let's play some negates and some frilled mystics. I think we can take out Brontodon. Could also play Voracious Hydra or Wicked Wolf. So if, if we're taking out Brontodon, we're playing Negates. So that's that's for sure happening. So like this is one extra slot here. Um, Wicked Wolf's basically only really that good against... I mean, he can counter Borrower, too. Or, I mean, he can kill Borrower, too, but then, you know, like a small cutthroat. Cast the 4-3. I'm just going to play three Frilled Mystics. I'm not going to play any Wicked Wolves. Yeah, I guess Gadwick. I, mean, I guess I don't have anything that kills Gadwick now. So maybe that's my. Could be my downfall. Tapping all my stuff. Hey, SDN. Yeah, I'm doing good. Hope everybody else is doing good, too. We'll see how... How good keeping this, or how much keeping this fabled, this breeding pool, there we go, how much keeping that breeding pool will really um, do for me. It's a strange and magnificent world. The land shall conquer you.
Obviously, if they just have a borrower to bounce the Nissa, it's kind of a problem. Unfortunately, I did. Maybe I needed to. I should have just led with Cavalier at Thorns first, get more more lands into play. Hey, K K H, what what's up? Thanks for joining the stream. So yeah, you're from. You're in the French time zone. So yeah, you get to see the YouTube videos and everything. Well yeah, welcome to the channel. Um I'm just gonna attack and play a new one. Bone Crusher Giants have looked really well. Or have looked really good. Certainly hoping to draw land and be able to just slam one of these things. Yay. Okay. Kept negate. Should have played Cavalier. I mean, obviously we have no no way to know that, but that's that's kind of the perfect card though, because then it lets them castle as well. I played the card that they knew about with the Nissa. Obviously, this is this is over. I just play any blue spell, tap my Cavalier Thorns. Don't play Nissa. Don't have anything to do on turn one or two, but can maybe have a good curve. Yeah, we could maybe curve Risen Reef into Cavalier into Crasis. Obviously, my opponent ha can have something to say about that, though. Hmm. 
Yeah, it looks like that that second game, both times that I played Nyssa, we were really punished for not playing Cavalier of Thorns instead. Both times I tried playing Nyssa. Thank you so much, Press. Thank you so much. Uh, glad you're enjoying the YouTube vids and everything. Thanks for coming by and saying it. Well, I know Risen Reef will, will resolve if we play that. So I guess we do. I think it's very likely my opponent has Disdainful Stroke and or Negate. Some combination of those two. Play the land first just in case of Mystical Dispute. Or Ether Gust. I think that's a, a good trade for me because of their Bone Crusher Giants. All right, if I. Now we're definitely not winning the race anymore with that extra damage from the Ionize. If I... So yeah, that's a good trade for me. If I draw a land... Hmm. I'm kind of hoping we draw a land and be able to play a bigger Krasis. I guess we'll just go Krasis for five. Hopefully not Tail's End. Ah, should have done four. Could have goosed.
Go, Cavalier, go. So hopefully these Cavaliers just take over. Now I did need to negate the shock because I needed the Cavalier of Thorns to resolve. If their last card was a counter spell for the Cavalier of Thorns after I just negated the shock, I would have felt really bad. It's more important the Cavalier of Thorns resolved than my Risen Reef was still alive. Pretty sure we got this one now, though. Arena, the game's almost over. You can handle a little bit longer. No. All right, two and one. See, Cavalier Thorn's still really good. Still really good. Underrated card right now. <laughs> Don't die on us, Serena. GG's. Yeah, they, they needed like Gadwick, like the turn they had Brazen Borrower, they needed Gadwick like that turn to just to refill. Yeah, but nobody plays Hushbringer, though. Yeah, yes, Hushbringer is really good against the deck that I'm playing, but nobody plays Hushbringer, so it's okay. Oh, no, a mirror match. Probably what they're thinking right now. So next turn I could have... So I could have turn 3 Nissa plus Risen Reef. But then if I if I do Nissa plus Risen Reef, that uses all three of my food. That thing's getting blocked. Can't get through the army of the geese.
Rise, my elemental friend. Hopefully he'll land here. Good. Oh, I'm I'm friend of wolves too. Man, can we do here? So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I can't really. I mean, I could activate the the castle again, but then I wouldn't have the blue mana. So like, it's the the awkward, not having the blue mana. So so six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we just won't do the extra one. I already played a land, so we'll we'll do the extra one. So eleven, nine. Good turn four. I'll phase through Exile Goose. What do I think about Jun Sacrifice? I think it's a really a really good deck. Yeah, I like Jun Sacrifice a lot. I think Corvold is awesome. <laughs> you were playing Troll Knights and you ran into somebody playing Hushbringer in the main deck. Just play Crackling Troll. And they're like, oh no, what have I done? What have I done with my life? I heard you said you'd be beaten. I'm gone for now, but not forever. Dijums, getting that support in there with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there, Dijums. Welcome to the channel. Enjoy all the awesome emotes and everything. So yeah, my opponent's going to be able to kill the Krasis here with the Wicked Wolf because it, it gets to fight, and then Tulsmer says it gets to fight again. <clears throat> so that's a rough one for me. The old five, negative 13. That'll do. Harness the elements. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
So that's 11, that's 12. It's 13, 14, or so that's 15, 17, 19. I don't know, how much do I need here? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So that's one too many. Yeah. Close enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Give me those. Alright, what can you do? Nothing. <laughs> Just take them all. My favorite color combo in Magic is green and white. I like Selesnya is my favorite. What's up, QQ? Good evening. <laughs> Dibs. <laughs> yeah, this is a good mass manipulation matchup, how they just like to sit around and take forever. Um... Got to be worried about casualties of war. Playing those. Maybe we'll just take out the beasts. Beast doesn't match up too well against Wicked Wolf. Neither does Risen Reef or, or Brontodon, I guess, but oh well. Let's try this. Yeah, don't even have to worry about Veil of Summer. Just, um... Just take everything. <laughs> yep. Yeah, there's just the one in the deck. So yeah, that was the ultimate top deck. I mean, that's that's why you play the one. So that in the late game, you know, we drew lots of cards with Hydroid Crisis and everything. And late game, you just you have that ability just to draw it. We didn't do a good job of hitting lands with the two Risen Reef triggers, but we're still ramping pretty good, and we got a bunch of gas in hand still. Yeah, basically, what, what Veil of Summer did, the question was, why did they ban it? What it did, it would have been just a, a good card at, at like, four mana normally. Like, counter something, draw a card. Like, that's, that's a good four mana card. And for what it could do for one mana, it was just so brutally efficient. It really overpowered that card when they printed it. Um, one, two, three, four, five... It's like, I can't quite Risen Reef and, and Cavalier this turn because I don't have two food for the geese. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could... I guess I could Cavalier first and then Risen Reef. 
I could do that. I had to hit a blue source, though. I guess we just do this. That uses all but one mana. Now, going this way, I don't have to hit a blue source. No, yeah, so you can't, you cannot change the color of the pet, of the dragon. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. I mean, I could take a turn off and just go like grow spiral, temple, activate goose, activate goose, and then I have a lot bigger crises. We'll just do this for six. May we take this next turn off, go and grow spiral, leave kin, activate, activate. And obviously it doesn't, we can't really get through the cat witch's oven. Yeah, the, the Abzan Doom deck that we're going to be playing later is similar to what my opponents got going on over here. They got more of a wolf strategy with Wicked Wolf Tulsimer, and I'm more of Doom Foretold. But yeah, we'll be we'll be doing Abzan colors with Trail of Crumbs, Witch's Oven, Cauldron Familiar. It's a very strong engine. All right, taking a turn off to ramp, indeed. Zagzi, another new Twitch Prime sub today. And also, welcome back, Storm. Thanks, Zagzi. So that's six. Four of it here, or three of it here, sorry. More ramp. Was that two manipulations? Oh, that was manip manipulation in island. All right, so one manipulation, one agent of treachery gone. So there's still one manipulation left. 
Thanks, Axie. Thank you so much. No, correct. Yes. Yeah, so this does... Yeah, activating this for extra mana does not work with manipulation. Yep, it has to be a creature spell. And manipulation's not a creature spell. It's a sorcery. Alright, so I need to kill this Trail of Crumbs. So that's what we're going to be killing with the Brontodon. So otherwise they'll just go find more of everything. You know, I could kill the Witch's Oven, but they'll just go get more Witch's Ovens and stuff with the Trail of Crumbs. Yeah, our deck could have a blast zone. Get rid of the witch's oven with a blast zone. That's possible. I'm a little nervous to play my other cavalier. So if we mill over the, the last mass manipulation, we won't really be able to find it then. Alright, so I have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana still. as far as playing another Krasis is concerned. No, I don't have any Forerunners as a finisher, no. So if I play Cavalier, no, I just don't want to. I have 24 cards in library. It's just not that many cards. It's not it's not a fast combo at all. They really should make it easier to sacrifice food to speed this combo up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Activate the castle for a 17th mana. Doesn't make a big difference, though.
Yeah, I, did, I definitely consider Tamiyo for the deck. End up taking it out. I might, might as well just add it. So it's 10, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 14. Just get a new hand. Yeah, this, this would be a perfect time to have a Jace. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, we do have infinite mana, basically. No, I wouldn't play this deck without having Cavaliers. I think Cavalier is a pretty important card in this deck. Unfortunately, you can only fight creatures you don't control. Oh, whoops. I didn't make it indestructible. Whoops. That was dumb. Whoops. Um, I have fighting hydras in the sideboard. Not, a, I didn't bring them in though. Basically, I have a, I have another mass manipulation in here somewhere. Behold, nature's true power. But it's not like mass manipulation is that great against the witches oven cauldron familiar combo that my opponent's playing. Anyway. Yeah, under 1200 is what you need for the for your ranking for the Mythic Championship qualifier. Basically, with how much mana we have in four, with having all this mana in four Gilded Geese just making food all the time, I honestly don't even think my opponent would really be able to kill me, but except for by decking. And so that's that's basically what we're going to have here. For it's definitely, that's basically going to be what the situation is. Unfortunately, mass manipulation, you can only take creatures and planeswalkers, you can't just take permanents. Correct, only when the season ends. Yep, you need to be 1200 or better.
guess I could side out the Cavalier of Thorns for game three if, if we mill ourselves out here. It's an option two. Let's see what else we got in here. Two Disdainful Strokes, Anissa. Two Brontodon. Yeah, Agent of Treachery is in the... It's over here. We, we milled over this mass manipulation and the Agent of Treachery with Cavalier of Thorns earlier. Yeah, I think Fae of Wishes is really good in best of one, but I don't really want to invest the three. But I think it's it's good in this kind of deck in best of one where you you know can use like your whole sideboard for like a Fae sideboard. Didn't even activate Witches Oven that time. Seven geese on board now. No, I don't have any Tamios. <clears throat> yeah, Andre's Forerunners would be a good one. I don't like having cards necessarily that are just strictly for this point in the game normally. Clicking resolve all. It's asking me, what do you want to do? I still want to resolve all. <laughs> if they just let you just actually click through this, and instead of you, hey, do you want to change your mind? It's like, no. Why do you think I'm hitting resolve all and not resolve? I don't want to change my mind. Stop making, stop asking me. Should make their button do what it says it's supposed to do. Yeah, absolutely. We could play Jace, all that stuff. There's there's a lot of things that you could play in this scenario to help you win the game. Left shift enter is the exact same thing as this. But yeah, I know you had the Kappa thing, so you probably knew that. Yes, Trunks, I'm getting a new PC this weekend.
All right, let's see what this does. Uh, what's the jankiest idea for standard you can come up with? Um, Mirror March is pretty janky. So they're sacking the wolf. They don't want me to have two wolves. Presumably they're going to be able to kill a cauldron familiar and get it back. Get one back, presumably. We have so many geese. I have a bunch of food over there. I need my my Cavalier of Thorns to die so I can just pick so I can pick these things back up. I have eight cards left. My opponent has 26. I will keep my Wicked Wolf alive this time. That definitely hurt whenever I didn't keep it alive that last time. They're down to four food. Huh. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not to the point where I think that we need a cyborg Jace for this kind of matchup. But it's a possibility. On computer. Hey farmer babe, yeah, we are playing Goose Tribal. Four wasn't enough. We gotta get more. Alright, well Wicked Wolf is lethal now. They have more time than I have left.
I really wish I could just F6 and just pass priority and just not do anything and not have them, not have to respond to all these, like, it's just really annoying having to respond to everything, even though I'm clicking, like, auto pass. Still have to respond to everything, even if I don't want to. Yeah, Finale of Revelation is definitely a possibility, too, to reshuffle. That's a good card. Hey Rods, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I honestly can't win anymore, the cards that we have. Well, I guess Nissa can win. I guess we have enough turns for, to old Nessa. I will protect the virtue of this world. Obviously, we need ultimate Nessa. We need them to whiff on basically them not find anything else in their entire deck to deal with Nessa, which is really unlikely, considering they get to. Oh, they. I guess they don't get to sacrifice. Yeah, because they don't have witches' ovens, so they can't just sacrifice these things. But they can just still just pay. Pay mana for these food and then trail of crumbs. I'm just gonna be clicking the space bar a bunch. I guess it's it's kinda easier to click this thing. At least it it's less loud. It's quieter. So I'll, thank you so much there, Rods. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to you as well. I will I'll update that sub count here in a little bit. I'm gonna just try to save my time here with the ten minutes. Yeah, yep, new pet in the store today, this dragon. Why do I have to still click OK to all this stuff? Why does it have to be designed this way? I truly mean auto pass, not. I want to respond to every single little thing. Well, that's good against Casualties of War, but it doesn't stop Murderous Rider and Despark, especially Murderous Rider is their most likely card to find um, off a of Trail of Crumbs, because it's a permanent. But that was like our... Nissa was definitely our best draw, and now Disdainful Stroke is probably my best draw that I have left. Yeah, left left shift or doing what left shift enter is the exact same thing as just clicking this auto pass button. It still stops you all the time. Oh, does it not stop you? It doesn't stop you. That's interesting. I just figured that was the exact same thing. So I guess if you hit left shift enter, it doesn't actually stop you. Well, that's cool. Well, now obviously I need to have disdainful stroke open. Um, that doesn't matter. Oh wait. I was thinking this is like Nyssa. <laughs> I 
<laughs> this definitely matters. I don't know why in my head I was thinking this was Nyssa. Or not Nyssa, gosh. Man, I'm just saying the wrong thing. Vivian. So five mana Vivian, because we've been playing Historic recently. So five mana Vivian's ultimate, you know, like five mana Vivian has the ultimate where it's the emblem, all your creatures get plus two, plus two, Vigilance, Indestructible, Trample. I was imagining the Nissa doing that. The Nissa's not going to do that. So yes, I, sh I sh definitely should have countered the Wicked Wolf. I just had the... The wrong 5-mana green Planeswalker ultimate in my mind. Rise, my elemental friend. So I wait, I do, I do left shift enter. And then I don't have to actually respond to stuff. Wow, that actually works. See, I just thought it was just the exact same because it says auto passing here. Yeah, so now it's just my opponent's wasting time. Um, they still... I mean, I can maybe mill them out also. They're at nine cards, and they do have Midnight Re Reaper in play. So, like, maybe I can mill them out. But yeah, I should have countered that Wicked Wolf. Or each creature that dies on their side, they have to they have to draw a card. Happy Thanksgiving, Whopper Stopper. No, I, I don't have anything for a finisher right now. I have a my opponent draws too many cards as a finisher. All right, well I can update now. I don't have to click everything there. That's our ninth sub of the day. Yeah, if we had a if we had a, a Wrath of God right now, they would die because of Midnight Reaper drawing them too many cards. I lead the Golgari now. And I've suffered worse. We're down to six cards. My best hope was that they would just block with like a cat and sack it. We're also seeing a lot more of their deck now though.
Sometimes sacrifice is necessary. Yeah, Loaming Shaman, that's just another one that, yeah, would be awesome right now, but I don't know if it'd be, like, really that worth it overall. Yeah, I'm not expecting my opponent to kill me in five minutes this next game with a bunch of 1-1s and 0-2s, but you never know. They could get a fast start with, like, Wicked Wolf or something. I just didn't have any, any lands to make indestructible by ulting Nissa. No, I'm just not I'm just not even using using the time Don't flatter yourself. to have goose make food. It's time to step out of the shadows. Oh, I was getting bored anyway. How can I get them to draw two cards? Yeah, it's laggy. A lot of the sparks. All right, so Green Cavalier milled me too much for this game. Yeah, finale. Yeah, finale of Revelation. Blue finale. Yeah, blue finale would have been awesome. Did I just not have all four Bronzadons in my deck? I lost because I had zero cards in my library, and then I had to draw a card, and you can't, if you have zero cards in your library and you have to draw, you lose. Hey, corn lover. This isn't the best start, but we got we got our land drops. We got this temple to scry to look for like a mana creature. I 
mean, that card could be awesome if we untap with Nissa, but I don't think we need to play the game as if we're trying to untap with Nissa. Gotta keep slowing him down. I thought the dragon pet looks janky, but it's actually faithful to the card. Yeah. Yeah, dragon whelp. It's a good little pet. Alright, so I'm, I'm up by three minutes right now. We gotta stay up on time. We got enough of those. Behold, nature's true power. This is kind of how my opponent could win, though, if they had a fast Wicked Wolf and Tulsmer start. We kind of need to draw something. I leave the Golgari now. <sighs> it's not often I'm outmaneuvered. We're going to have to draw something. I don't know what. So I'm not blocking so that my forest can attack their Vraska. More land. Left shift enter. Come on. So three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11. All right. So 11 lands down. Guess I block this thing. I, I don't like giving them that extra card. Looks like we're actually going to lose in three and a half minutes. Crazy. Yeah, they fled too. Their, their cards were two for ones, though. You know, they had their Wicked Wolves and everything. Looks like they got this. Two and two. Yeah, maybe I, I probably did cyborg just pretty poorly there for game three by taking out Cavalier of Thorn because the the game couldn't really go long enough for for me to mill myself out, and then I just lost like my best blocker, Voracious, Voracious Hydra. Uh, wasn't you know really wasn't that good. You know, we killed a goose, but they. You know, were easy to kill it, and yeah, you know, I just had I just had hydras and brontodons were like the only things that I was drawing there, and those things couldn't couldn't beat a four four. Um, I I made the one really bad decision of putting the crasis down to the bottom. When you know all we had was a brontodon and a nissa in hand and five lands, and obviously if I would have just kept the crasis, we would have been fine. So that was I made that really bad decision there. So yeah, I think. I think I could have won if I would have not sided out the Cavalier Thorns and if I would have kept the Krasis on top. I think if I would have just done those two things, like, you know, when we drew the Voracious Hydra, if that was Cavalier Thorns instead. Um, yeah, I think if I would have done either of those, I think we would have been just fine. Uh, no, I don't I don't think this deck needs a Tambio on the sideboard. I'd, m I'd much rather play a Blue Finale. I think a Blue Finale is definitely a, a possibility. Could be better than the second mass manipulation. Could play this in, instead of the second man manipulation for for those kind of games, like where you know it's going to go long. Voracious Hide is really for uh, you know for like the red aggro decks. That's what's in there for him. I have the eight counter spells. It's possible one of those eight counter spells should be a mass manipulation. Yeah, maybe we should have the second manipulation there in one of those eight counter spells. But I don't think so. But yeah, so that's the, I think this is the card for like for that matchup that's trying to outgrind you. I think the finale is the card, not um, not Tamio or Jace, because it's pretty easy for them to just spark Jace like before you know, like. Uh, how they were holding like those just sparks and everything. Like if we would have had a Jace, they just spark Jace. We don't win. That could happen. Okay. Um, all right. So we need to move on. That's <laughs> two and a half hours for those four games. So we got we got three other decks that we're trying to play here today. So that's Simic Ramp. Um, Cav overall, obviously that that last time you know we milled out, but overall Cavalier Thorns looked awesome. And I'm excited to play some more Cavalier of Thorns in the Gruel Henge deck later on. Um, but yeah, overall that that card was uh, was really impressive. Um, but yeah, Risen Reef Cavalier of Thorns were were good. Um, yeah, I think there's still just a lot of good stuff here with Simic Ramp. 
and I like I like lowering the curve because of how you're going to normally struggle with the aggro deck. So I like kind of lowering the curve and having like these different uh, threats in there as well. All right, that's Simic Ramp. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. And of course, leave some comments. I'd appreciate all of that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.